Our clothes, as a mirror, reflect the history of civilization. It is more than second layer, as nowadays fashion and style became the way of self-expression. Seeing deep symbolism in surrounding material things, speaking via things and rituals is absolutely in Kazakh style. That is why the history of national costume is an incredible world exposing our mentality. Today in the program, Saukilie of Vivian Westwood. 100 horses for a headwear, according to genetic memory. These are photos from the fashion show of the famous British designer Vivienne Westwood. In her autumn-winter 2016-2017 collection, we can see quite recognizable headwear. By the way, the British designer is not the first one who turned her creative eye towards Asia and Sidi and Saka costumes. Westwood's collections are very provocative and intended to outdare the conservative British fashion. However, such outfits will not surprise step girls. According to Kazakh traditions, a girl is considered a guest in her father's house, and from the early childhood she is prepared for the fact that sooner or later she will leave her father's house and become a daughter-in-law. Even nowadays, when the notion of feminism and emancipation is quite widespread and does not shock anyone anymore, mothers, whether they are housewives in the village or businesswomen in the city, almost from the birth of a daughter, think about her wedding dowry, Jasau. In the olden days, an indispensable attribute of the Jasau was a special headdress named Sokilia. The cone-shaped high headdress is an important attribute of the wedding outfit of Kazakh girls. Modern Kazakhs have two weddings. The first celebration is a wedding from the bride's side called Khazuzatu, farewell to the bride, and the second is organized by the groom's parents. As a rule, on the day when the bride bids farewell to her relatives, she chooses traditional gowns, a fitted dress with frills decorated with ornaments and a smart kamzol waistcoat. But even if the bride's gown is far from Kazakh national, she still wears Saukilia for the farewell ritual. Why is this headdress so important? Saukilia so is the most interesting, original and richly decorated version of the headdress in the Kazakh national costume. It is shaped either as a cone or directly pointed pyramid, and this form directly refers to the image of the world mountain. So Kilia is a wedding hat, it is a peak of craftsmanship, it was filled with symbols that belong to the upper world. But at the same time, so Kilia itself is divided into three levels of the universe. The lower world is decorated with fur or fringe, and the upper world is trimmed with feathers, owl's feathers is a reference to the upper world. It can be unequivocally claimed that Saka headdresses are prototypes of Saukile. Saukile inherited from Saka headdresses not only a form but also a ritual philosophical significance. Parents were very careful and responsible when preparing this in a way amulet for their daughter and sometimes invested in it a fortune. This also had a utilitarian sense. In case of loss of her husband or any unhappiness, the bride could sell jewelry to feed herself and her children, and such cases were quite common in hard times for Kazakh nomads. As for the decoration of jewelry, trimming with silver elements was the most common. However, some wealthy families could afford pure gold trimming. 
стоимость которых доходила до стоимости табуна лошади. They were so clear with very expensive elements, value of which reached the cost of the head of horses. Головной убор, естественно, был очень тяжелым. Это был не один. In addition, it should be said that this headdress was very heavy. It was not one, but five or ten kilograms. Numerous metal elements, carcass with numerous pendants, made the bride involuntarily maintain a good posture. She tried to keep her back. Wearing sokile was quite a challenge. Wearing sokile was a challenge not only for fragile young girls who centuries ago were given in marriage at a young age, but also for the whole family. Sokile, in addition to everything, was a status thing. The more wealthy the family, the richer embellished the bride's headdress. So parents tried to invest in it to the maximum, and sometimes the whole Aul village of the girl was involved in its creation. All relatives helped. Some gave cuts of expensive cloth, some a precious stone. Precious stones that were used on traditional headwear had their differences. Most often expensive coral were sued on the headdress of girls. Coral among Kazakhs was a symbol of nobility, prosperity, cohesion and wealth. Since coral was red, it was sued on Saukilerim. Since coral was red, it was sued on Saukilerim. It was a sign of the bride's purity and innocence. Высота такая, почему там много деталей? Это зависит от, скажем... Why is Sokile so high and has so many details? It depends on the financial status of a customer. It is true that in early times one Sokile could cost 100 horses. Indeed, Master invested his whole soul into the work and it was not made in a year. As soon as the daughter is born, the father ordered Saukilea. And when she was 13 and it was time to get married, Saukilea was ready just in time for her wedding. Master's work does not just include a headwear, but many other details such as breast decoration, blezek, bracelet, kapsirma, buckles, shashbau, hair jewelry, and even shoes. So Kilea, like all headgear of Kazakhs, has strong sacred status. Kazakh people never allowed themselves such a behavior as pulling off a hat and casually tossing it anywhere. The headdress was always up high and never on the floor. Otherwise, the health or well-being of the owner could suffer. And even more so, Saukilia was of great importance. It was worn at the time of initiation, the transition from one status to another. Saukilia was kept in a specially prepared chest or case and it was treated with great respect and honor because it was a sacred headdress. The tradition of wearing this headdress takes its roots back in ancient times, since the Saka culture. So like headdress were found by archaeologists in early medieval burials. There are obvious connections between the headdress of the famous Saka leader, the Golden Warrior, and the traditional Saukilia. This led to the assumption that the famous Golden Warrior was actually female. Kazakhs usually engaged the most skilled craftsmen in making Saukilea. Jewelers cast stamped or minted metallic details. 
generally saukilia making took a year. Historical sources indicate that the cost of saukilia in the late 19th, early 20th century was 1,000 rubles, which is the cost of about 100 good horses. Saukilia presented at the exhibition of the Third Orientalist Congress in St. Petersburg was estimated at 600 rubles. It is said that it was adorned with 30 threads of coral, 15 threads of pearls, sewed with red silk and trimmed with fringe of gold threads. Gems of precious metals were shining on its plates. Expensive Saukilia were also shown at the Nizhny Novgorod exhibition in 1893. However, a difficult time for Kazakh people began and, of course, most people could not afford such an expensive manufacturing. It led to the fact that luxury saukilia started with precious stones, sort of unique works of art, and remained only in the memory of great-great-grandmothers of the modern brides. Daughters of noble and very wealthy parents decorated their headdresses with diamonds. Hats called boyarka, fur hats, and saukilia were diamond encrusted. And although girls from ordinary families could not afford to decorate their saukilia with precious stones, nevertheless they ornamented them with gold threads using ornaments of a mutton horn or vegetative ornaments. They also decorated their saukilia with beautiful embroidery in gold and silver. Saukilia was conically shaped, its frame was made of white felt, it was covered with red cloth and trimmed with a rim of nutria fur. The wedding accessory was adorned with silver, gold pieces with pearls, corals and also with diamonds and other precious stones. Kazakhs had their own technology of saukilia making. Overlaid plaques of different sizes were sewn on the fabric. Basils of plaques were encrusted with stones. It should be noted that saukilia had a metal open work to a diadem. Sometimes it was made of gold with insets of gems or with threads of pearls. The set included a silver pendant that hung on the forehead and white ribbons with embellishments, silver chains and pendants that hang on the back and chest of the bride. Often the headdress had shouldered cloaks trimmed with velvet trim with ornament and fringe. <laughs> In the film Kuzhibek, pearl beads hung on both sides of the girl's saukilia. The pendants on the saukilia emphasized the beauty of the girl, and pearls adorning the hands and the neck of Kuzhibek say that this tradition goes back centuries and is one of the most famous types of jewelry of that time. Temporal pendants made from pearls draped down the face, giving the girl a special charm. Pearls were used on double-breasted dresses on bishmet. They were worn in the form of pearl necklace. Pearls were used as decorations on clothes, for example, pearl fringe trimming. Pearls were also used as an additional saukilia deco. These white stones adorned the temporal parts of saukilia. изготовление смокелей сейчас уходит примерно около недели. А сейчас the production of saukilia nowadays takes about a week. Nowadays, stones are available for us. The quality of stones is also quite high. We make saukilia in modern way. Light colors prevail in saukilia production. They are pearls, Swarovski stones and transparent rock crystal. 
Each saukilevi now costs a lot of money, but everything depends on the financial condition of a bride. If finances allow the bride to have saukilia from precious stones, then why not? If not, then there are budget options. When adorning Saukili, huge importance was given to ornaments, colors and materials. Masters used the image of the sacred tree of life, mutton horn, red and its variations was predominating color. This color was associated with active vitality, with youth, with the ability to give life to children. Very rarely in some regions there were variations of green, blue and even black Saukili. Often we do to give a peace national flavor. Red stones, materials and fabrics trimmed in red, all these are part of traditional approach. Red is the color of honor, wealth and longevity. This time I used carnelian, such natural carnelian and coral. These materials are mined in Kazakhstan. The sound of the walking woman is heard, said the artist Ruben Maisel, describing the wedding attire of the Eastern girl. The complete set of wedding costume of Kazakh bride consisted of a variety of items and jewelry made of gold and silver, which melodically rang at every step, so that the sound of the woman walking was heard at a big distance. Nowadays, wedding saukilia is no longer embroidered with real gold and silver coins, precious stones and natural pearls to emphasize the status of the family and the power of the bride's father. Brides wear stylized versions of saukilia. Saukilia close to the original samples is more suitable for connoisseurs of Kazakh art. They can be seen in collections and at exhibitions among the works of jewelers and artists. Works of this scale require a lot of knowledge, time, patience and passion for work. I had an idea to make a good-looking saukilea, and after studying everything about the technique and materials, I achieved the goal. It is possible to achieve the same effect, but make the work easier. However, saukilea requires complex work, as it consists of different details. And for every detail it takes a lot of time, and if we take into account the fact that there are more than 300 parts, it is possible to imagine that it can take five years to make the headpiece. It is surprising that a bride in Norway often wears a crown instead of a veil, the base of which is made of silver or copper and decorated with chains and bells that gently ring when walking. It is believed that the sound of bells chases away evil spirits who are afraid of the overflow of the bell ringing. Yemeni bride has as much silver in the form of jewelry, dress trimming and headgear as she can withstand so as not to fall or bend under its weight because it is considered that the more silver the girl has, the more successful her marriage will be. The headdress hassab is the most colorful element in the attire of Turkmenistan brides. The headdress reaches a height of 30 or more centimeters and is wrapped in red silk. Red color for Turkmen's was and still remains a symbol of the life-giving force of nature. People believed in its magical properties to protect a person. Over the silk, silver and gold items, coins and pendants fell to the forehead and temples. Isn't it quite familiar? At all times, different nations attached special significance to the bride's headdress. It had to protect a young virgin who entered a new life in a new status in the new house. 
They are for even now, following our genetic memory, like our ancestors, we aspire to get a beautiful sukilia for a wedding. And it is no longer important if it's original or stylized, because the main thing is to believe that it will save you from bad and bring happiness.